Hello everybody, my name is Dev and welcome to another tutorial. Merry Christmas to all of you uh, on the other side of the world. That was yesterday for me, Christmas was, because obviously I live in Australia. I took a lot of feedback from yesterday's tutorial and I've decided to do a simpler tutorial on syncing sniper clips in After Effects and it's going to be using Time Remap which is already pre-installed in After Effects so no additional plugins are needed and I'm going to be trying to go slower so all of you that are new to this can understand it more easily and I'll explain everything I'm doing. Alright so let's get started. Down here we have the composition to make a new composition you just click that button right there but I already have a composition with my song in it so I'm going to RAM preview this. Alright, so some of you may have noticed that it was the same song as yesterday, but that's fine. It will make it easier to compare the clip synced with Twixter compared to Time Remap. Alright, so now what we're going to do is drag in our clip. Then what we're going to do is we're going to sync the first shot up with the second beat once again. So, so what you want to do is drag this timeline thingy. I'm not sure what it's called exactly. But what you want to do is hold shift and it will automatically snap to any markers you have. So I have a marker right there and it's snapping to it. So when I just let go of that, it'll be exactly on the second beat. Now what I'm going to press is I'm going to have my clip layer selected. And I'm going to hit the left bracket key on my keyboard. And it will automatically put the start of the clip to the second beat. So we're going to drag this along just to the left and make sure to sync up. So we've got to find the first shot where he hits it, which is this one, and and when you see the muzzle flash, it will signify where he's shooting. Now what we want to do is drag our indicator along here and hold shift again to snap it at the first beat. Now to make our clip start here, we want to hold Alt or Option for those of you on a Mac and press the left bracket key. There we go. Now, since we're using time remapping, we're going to start off with time remapping. So what you want to do is right click, go up to time, and enable time remapping. What that's going to do is create keyframes in the time signature of the clip. Don't worry if you don't understand that, it's pretty straightforward. So what you can do is keyframe, say the start here, and then go for the, to the first beat once again, and click that to keyframe that there. And that means if you change the time signature, Throughout the clip, it won't change if these are on the beat. Now, what we want to do is hold shift again, go to our next beat, and what we want to do is drag this slider until you see the next muzzle flash or gunshot. So there you go, there's a little bit there. So we're going to go to the next one now, and we are going to do the same thing. Just going to do it quickly. So once again, you see the flash there. And we want to go to the next one. You're going to see the next shot. Then the last shot will be here. And we just got to find where the flash is, which is right about there. All right, awesome. Now, what we're going to do is just keyframe the last beat. Uh, press Alt and right bracket on the keyboard. And that will end it there. Watch through what we have right here. That looks all right to me. And if you really wanted to, you could just leave that there because all the shots are synced up. And it's not amazingly over synced, which is a good thing. If you want to go a step further, what you can do is you can highlight all of these keyframes and then what you want to do is click this button here and it'll take you to the graph editor. Now it might look a bit scary or new to you right now, but it's actually very simple. What you want to do is go down here and click Easy Ease. What that's going to do is, is give you some handles on your clip. Don't worry about the ones outside the, these keyframes here because they're not going to affect anything. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of these and what I'm going to do is hold shift once again and drag them all in until there's none left. There's no lines anywhere besides the line going through the clips. Now keep them selected 
and what you want to do is drag them up a little bit if they're on the right and drag them down a little if they're on the left of the keyframe. Now what that's going to do is basically make it so when it hits the keyframe before it, it's going to speed up and after it it's going to speed up but in the middle it's going to be a bit slower which creates a nice sync effect the same sort of effect we had in the Twixer tutorial yesterday and what we're going to do is maybe make this a little different so you just got to fiddle around make sure you have what you want I'm going to RAM preview this Now that's perfectly fine actually, I think that's pretty good. And like I said, it's just all about fiddling around till you get what you think looks good. And I think that's pretty good for a final product. Now we can compare the difference between Twixter and Time Map. I personally like the look of Twixer in this case, but it's all about personal preference. I've said this like three times, but it really is. I can't emphasize that enough because you do want to be as original as you can because that's how you get noticed. Uh, but anyways, guys, I've been Dev. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.